As if the community hasn't been through enough, some disturbing calls at homes in Newtown. Tonight, one father is speaking out. It's over a robocall that won't stop. We all get those calls, but people in Newtown never expected robocalls from the National Rifle Association. Good evening, everyone. I'm Erin Logan. Across the country, gun control is a very sensitive topic, especially in Newtown, where people are trying to heal from the unforgettable tragic day. News 8's Jackie Slater spoke with a man who's not just insulted by these calls, he's worried to even reveal his identity out of fear. Jackie? Yeah, you know the calls. They come at the worst possible times, usually in the middle of dinner. You maybe check your caller ID, see it's an 800 number, and you let the answering machine pick up. Well, imagine being a family here in Newtown and having that call be from the National Rifle Association, asking you to call your state senator and urge them to vote against an assault bans, uh, ban, assault weapons ban. Well, I just spoke to a man here in town who said residents have been getting these calls all week. And he even said some have even received postcards in the mail. Now, residents here in Sandy Hook say the calls are insensitive and unwelcome, and they're outraged. Many feel that Sandy Hook and Newtown residents should have been excluded from the NRA's calls and mailings. I spoke to one man who said he's received three calls this week, all coming between 6 and 7 o'clock at night. Now, he said this town is struggling to move on after the shootings here back in December, and that calls like these make it even harder. He said parents are trying to help their kids cope and feel safe. And his biggest concern was what if a child, a victim's family, had heard that automated message. Now, the man I spoke to said he did contact the NRA and asked to be taken off of that list. He said even after that, he got an additional call, called them again. He said his phone has been quiet all weekend. Now, in related news, on Friday, some victims' families met with v Vice President Joe Biden to rally for a ban on assault weapons. Now, earlier this week, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid said the ban did not have enough support to pass in the Senate and would be left out of the gun control legislation. So it's certainly been a very controversial week here in Sandy Hook, Newtown, and all across the country. I'll have more coming up later this evening. You'll hear from that man directly. For now, live in Sandy Hook, Jackie Slater, News 8.